Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about the splat operators in Python, or I guess spread operators if you're familiar with JavaScript. Uh, they're basically the same name, but um, the star and star star operators and how, how they work. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so for this, uh, I am going to open up Python. We're going to make a few functions. Um, I'm going to talk about a little bit of history here uh, because these operators actually work slightly differently depending on the version of Python you're running. Uh, so let's start by making a silly function, which is going to have three arguments, and we're just going to print all of those. And uh, I can call this function, so if we just call it with like one, two, three, uh, you'll see that it you know prints those three arguments. So it's a very simple function. Uh, the first splat operator we're going to talk about is the single star. And what the single star allows you to do is it allows you to take a list. So let's say we had a list that was one, two, three. Uh, it allows you to take a function call and spread those arguments into each of the, the uh, parameters here. So you'll see like x becomes one, and y becomes two, and z becomes three here. So this star here causes the, the list of arguments to be kind of slotted into the various uh, parameters there. So you can see that this ends up here. Now note that you can also use the spread operator more than once if you're running Python 3.5 or newer. This is a this is a change that happened in Python 3.5. So you, you can see here I can actually spread an empty list followed by another list. And so this can be, you know, you can spread as many empty lists as you wanted in here. Uh, as well as if you did, you know, uh, LST uh, pop, let's remove a value from it and say LST2 equals this. So we have LST and LST2. And I can call F of star LST and star LST2. And that allows me to spread multiple things into this function here. Uh, and this is positional arguments. So single star is positional arguments. Take a takes an iterable and makes them you know positional arguments. Uh, there's also double star. So we're gonna make uh, a dictionary instead. So DCT equals x one y two and z three. And what double star allows you to do is it allows you to spread named arguments. So if we called this function, let's just call it normally first, x equals one, y equals two, z equals three. Oh, also I'll link the video about different argument types because uh, that explains the other side of splat operators because there's also uh, collecting operators which take star and star star. Uh, but you can see if I call this with the named arguments, the function prints out one, two, three, and I can call it with the double star spread operator, uh, which takes a mapping and turns that mapping into um, named arguments. So if we do DCT here. Now note there is one uh, easy mistake to make here, which is if you have one too few stars here, uh, this will actually uh, revert back to the you know positional argument spread operator. And uh, due to the way that dictionaries iterate, this will actually pass the keys into this function. So you can see here we get x, y, z, which is maybe not what you intended. And the reason for that is, you know, if you iterate over a dictionary, you get its keys. Um, so yeah, one thing one thing to look out for here. And again, like, like above, you can spread multiple things in here. So I could spread the empty dictionary as many times as I wanted. Or if we did, you know, let's remove a key from this and do dct2 x uh, dc2 equals x uh, 9001 for whatever reason and so i could call f star star dct star star dct2 and you'll see that it you know it folded those named arguments into those uh, particular positions here okay so that's the spread operators for functions there's one other case where spread operators come into play and that is for building list tuple set and dictionary literals um, and for those, you can actually spread into them. So if we had, you know, our LST here as one, two, we can make a new list that is that list spread it into it. And you can actually spread it as many times as you want uh, or splat or whatever, however you want to refer to it. You can also put other things in between it. Uh, and again, this syntax is new in Python 3.5. This didn't exist before 3.5. So if you're running, if for some reason you're running an old end of life Python, you won't have access to this feature. Um, but you'll see that, you know, we get one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, uh, for, you know, lists. This also works for tuples. You can take any iterable and splat it into a tuple. This also works for sets. Again, you can take any literal, literal and splat it into a set. Now, in this case, you can see because sets remove duplicates, uh, these values are gone. Uh, and you can double star spread into maps. So if we had, you know, what was DCT before? We had a new dictionary we could do DCT in here. Um, 
and you know splat it as many times as you want of course the last value is always going to win here so if we had splatted you know z after this we've splatted the, the the original dictionary and then we splat z or we, we write z over top of it you'll see that this will overwrite anything to the left of it so it's it puts the keys in in order essentially um but yeah those are the splat operators as well as the two main uses uses of them either in function calls or in building literals uh, but anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.